Welcome to Can We Talk About It? We've got a special on today on science in the Quran, and we've got a specialist, Jonathan McClatchy. Now, you are a scientist, are you not? Yeah, I have uh, two master's degrees. I have one in evolutionary biology and one in medical and molecular bioscience, um, and I, I'm also currently doing a PhD. Well, wow. so you really know science. Uh, you're the science guy. You're the go-to guy when it comes to science. And what we're going to do today is we're going to unpack some of the claims that Muslims make concerning science in this book, the Quran. Now, you have looked at this book. You have looked at some of those claims. Give me an overview of your reaction to what you're hearing them say. Yeah, and I've listened to many Muslims who have converted to Islam from Christianity or some other worldview persuasion, and typically uh, one of the main one of the main apologetics that they will offer for why they converted to Islam are these so-called scientific insights in the Quran, um, and they give many examples and they try to argue that this could only have been the product of divine inspiration and couldn't have been the work of a human being that someone living in the 7th century AD, like Muhammad, who was purportedly illiterate and so forth, um, who predated the scientific revolution, how could he possibly have known these things way back then? Um, and so that's typically an argument that they make. And when I read the Quran... Are you convinced? I, I'm not convinced. When I read the Quran, I see um, many, uh, if all of, in fact, the arguments that Muslims offer um, in support of this contention. Um, either the text doesn't say what they say it says, or they've over-exaggerated, or um, the Quran just simply gets it wrong, and it's, it's, not, it's, far be, it's far from a scientific miracle, it's more of a scientific blunder. And so th really, there are three things that you have found, that they, it's not really what the what Quran is saying. Right. They exaggerate what is there, yeah. and the Quran is just completely wrong. Yeah. Well, that's, pretty, that's quite an indictment against the Quran. What we're going to do, John, is we're going to look at some of these examples. But your overview is, there's a problem here. Yeah, there's a real problem. Now, before we even get into some examples, why do you think Muslims are so concerned with finding scientific discoveries in the Quran. What's the reason do you think is going on? Well, in our modern Western world, you know, we, um, you know, we're often we're often asked by skeptics, you know, why do you believe what you believe? And so they're you know, looking to try and clutch at something that they can use to justify their their belief in Islam. And the scientific miracles is one argument that they've latched onto. And this support. very popular Yusuf Qaradawi in. Al Jazeera television. This is one of his favorite programs every night. He unpacks these supposed, as you would say, scientific miracles. We're going to do that. We're going to look at some of these supposed scientific miracles. Join us. Come with us as we now unpack these different supposed miracles, and we're going to have a scientist look at them and tell you his impression with each one.